How we doing guys? Welcome back to another Robert Does Fishing vlog. Hey, I'm out for a couple of hours tonight in the River Irvine, down near Kilmarnock. Hey, we finally had a period of kind of settled weather this week and I think that looks to be set to continue into next week. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd pop out down to the river just for a couple of hours and uh, see if we can, we can pick anything up. Um, I'm glad the, the more settled weather has started to appear. Uh, spring in Scotland so far has been so wet, it's been it's been unbelievable. Um, you've really had limited windows of opportunity to get out uh, since the since the start of the trout season anyway. Uh, maybe good news if you're a if you're a salmon angler out in search for, for spring salmon in some of the other parts of the country, but certainly in the west here in Scotland it's been it's been so wet and the rivers have just been pretty much in flood since um, since February really. Um, so we're we're mid April now. And yeah, like I say, I'm just down at uh, the River Irvin, uh, quite close to where I live in, in Glasgow. I'm just outside Kilmarnock at the moment, so um, out for see if we can get a trout tonight. Um, the river is a wee bit bigger than I would like it to be. Um, it's sitting just over a, a, a metre um, at the gauge at, at Shilton Bridge, which is a wee bit wee bit further down. That's the kind of nearest uh, SEPA gauge that I use to, to look at the water before I come down here. But um, there's a few nice runs uh, where I am just now, so... Well, um, I think we'll start off with some nymphs. I'll keep my eye out for some rising fish, but like I say, I think it's warm enough um, for, for a hatch to come on or for hatches throughout the day. I'll keep my eye out for rising fish, but I think I'm going to start off with, uh, with the nymphs and, and concentrate on this, uh, this run just beside me. So, so yeah, we'll, we'll get kitted up and we'll get in the water and we'll see how we get on. All right, guys. We'll start in this uh, in this run here, and uh, and work our way back up to the head of the to the head of the pool there. So I've just got my Euro nymphing rod with me, uh, just my usual setup with my French leader and my and my sighter, maybe about six feet of four pound fluorocarbon, um, two tungsten weighted uh, nymphs on jig hooks, and on the point I think I've got a size twelve. Pheasant tail nymph with a bit of a bit of sparkly dubbin and some and a hot orange tag. And on the dropper, maybe about 18 inches up, I've got a a gold ribbed kind of hair's ear hair's ear pattern with with um, some CDC. So let's see how we go on. Bit of an upstream wind. Uh, the bead on the point is four, four mil. Dropper's two point eight, I think. If the wind keeps up and it's blowing my leader all over the place, I might just switch to the upstream nymph method. I've got my other rod with me, just with the floating line on it, so just casting the nymph upstream and letting it letting it come back down and just watching the end of your fly line as the indicator. Is that a fish? No, nah, caught in the bottom. Right, there's a fish. That's a decent one at that. Not a bad fish at all. Oh, very acrobatic. I had a feeling there might be some some bigger fish. 
coming out to play when the water was up a wee bit. See if we can get him in the net. Nice. That's a lovely trout. I'll get some line off. Took this point fly. There we go. A nice fish. Maybe a bit half a pound, three quarters of a pound or something. Lovely. Yeah, not a bad. Not a bad start at all. It's good. Off he goes. Good. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay, dogs, let's see. We'll just keep working our way up here and see if we can pick anything else up. But I'm happy with that. Not a bad fish to start off with. You know, the more I am, um, the more a uh, nymph, the more I realise it's it's a really really effective, effective method. Um, I, you know, of all the videos I watch on YouTube and stuff like that, um, oh, there is a fish jumping up there. Um, a lot of the guys that are like die hard like Euro nymphers. You know, they always say you'll pick up more fish when you're nymphing. I don't quite know why that is, but, you know, I think I'll... a majority of the trout's diet will be eating subsurface. And flies in their, their nymph stage and their larval and, and pupa stage, so I'm not really surprised, but like I say, just the more I've sort of tried it, the more I've tried the nymph and the more I've been like quite pleasantly surprised with the results. Still, I think I'm like most trout anglers, so you can't beat you can't beat getting a fish in the dry fly. <laughs> excitement of seeing the fish coming up for your fly. There's the bottom again. Alright, I think we'll move. There's another run just up round the bend there, so we'll um we'll go up there and see how that's looking. I might um before I actually go back to the car, I might pop down here for a quick pop back down here rather for a quick ten minutes with the um with the streamer and see if that can catch anything's attention. But I'll stick with the nymphs just now and we'll head up to the to the bay, the run round the bend there and um keep going with the nymphs and see if we can get anything. Uh, dare I say it, I should have had the spinning rod down as well. Uh, these, uh, 
These conditions might be pretty good for a wee map or a wee Rapala. Like I, say, like I say, like I don't know if the water's... I don't think the water's colouring up. I think it's just my imagination. Ah, a wee... Uh, a wee map or a wee Rapala. It'd be quite good. the bottom. A few flies coming off now. I think there's definitely a, a hatch starting. Nice. You know, it's no, I mean the temperature's no warm, the outside temperature's no warm, but when that sun hits you it's lovely. That looks like a fishy area. Oh no! I don't think I'm getting that back. It's up the tree. I got neither of them back. Oh dear. Right, I'll need to rig up again. I'll need to rig up and I'll keep uh, I'll keep working up here. Maybe that wee run at the side. And then aye, then we'll make a make a decision about working my way back down. Maybe a, a wee streamer or that. But yeah, I'll get kitted back up and then we'll uh, we'll get back in. Alright guys, that's me kitted up with, rigged up with fresh nymphs, um, just changed them, um, point on the point, I've, I've still got a pheasant tail nymph with a hot tag on it, but it's like, um, it's a black one this time, still a size 12 with a gold bead, um, on the dropper I've got a wee sort of um, olive pattern with a white bead on it, um, so hopefully if the water is if the water is carrying a wee bit of colour then hopefully those two will stand out. So. There's a fish. Oh. Sitting right in the seam there. Another acrobatic fish. I thought there might be a fish or two in here. That's taking the dropper. That's taking the wee. That's taking the fly with the white head. There we go. It's another brawy fish. There it goes. Good. Oh well, do we? We white nip, uh, sorry, the wee nymph with the white bead there did the trick. I'm going to move up. Pull. There's another one about a five minute walk up the up the way there that's probably quite good for the nymphs as well. So we'll take a wee walk back up there and we'll get this. We'll get the nymphs tied on again. Uh, the, the point nymph anyway, it's the point nymph that's got a, a knot above it. So we'll get that tied on and then we'll be back on back up there.
Well, there was a. I'm back at where I started earlier, guys. There was a. There was a fella up there fishing the run that I was. Uh, that I was hoping to run. So it's a bit of a walk up there and a bit of a walk back down. So I'm just gonna last 15 minutes. Where I was at the start. See if we can get a last. A last fish before heading up the road. Alright guys, I think that'll need to do for tonight. I'll need to get moving. Um, not a bad wee session for a couple of hours. On the nymphs, managed to get a couple of nice wee brown trout to the net. Which you cannot complain with. And it's just a, it's just nice to get out in some some fair or decent weather. Um, the weather's looking pretty settled. A bit warmer for next week as well. Um, so I might get out a night next week as well. Um, hopefully the water's a bit lower. Hopefully there's a bit more fly life, and uh, we can hopefully have a go at a go at the dry flies. But yeah, yeah like I always say, guys, if you like this video, uh, please hit the like button. And if you want to see some more of my content, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell to be alerted every time I, I post up a new video. But yeah, thanks again for, for watching guys, I really appreciate all your all your support and all your engagement with the channel and interactions. So yeah, we'll be back out soon. But until then, I hope you're all doing well, tight lines, and we'll see you soon. Cheers now.